Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, this is going to be a design with me video. Um, I don't really know why I chose to film this, but um, a lot of you seem to really enjoy the one that I posted last year, August. So I thought I would do another one um, just for fun. And I think this particular kit is going to be really fun because it is part of the biome collection. And so I've already done the ocean. You know what? Let me get rid of this backing. Um, I've already done the ocean kit. Uh, this is what it looks like. Very, very cute. And then the second installment was the desert collection. And this is what that looks like. This was a sketch and this was the final thing. Um, and then the third one is going to be this forest collection because I thought it would be like a nice autumn slash winter kit. And then this arctic tundra one would definitely be perfect for um, winter. And I plan on doing this at the very end of the year. And then at the very end of the year, I have a bunch of other coordinating biome stuff planned and it's going to be a really cute bundle and it's going to be awesome. Before I get on with that, we have to uh, finish the actual sticker kit and get the collections ready. So this is what I will be referencing off of. Um, I will have to admit, like, I am not very inspired by this kit or this theme rather, because I feel like with the desert and um, the ocean kits, like if you think of ocean, you think of water, you can think of um, jellyfishes and regular fish and corals and octopus and I don't know, just a bunch of random cool things. With the desert, you think of things like pyramids and camels and sun and hiking and all of that. However, with the forest, all I think about is just tree and <laughs> that's it. Like I, I'm really struggling like thinking of something else and um, to be honest, I'm not really looking forward to working on this, especially because I'm filming it and you, you get to see like all of my hesitations and stuff. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Um, currently, I'm just picking some colors from the already existing sampler. Um, I might switch it around a little bit later on, but this will just give me a nice base to go off of. So pretty happy with that. Um, this green is a little bit too saturated for my liking. Do I like this better or this better? I think I like this better, but a little bit less saturated and a little lighter. Maybe a little darker. Hmm, I think that's a little too saturated still. Um, I'm gonna try to be like as unfiltered as possible, not in a way of like cursing and stuff, um, but just like really show you my true design process because I feel like I give the impression that I do things very quickly, but honestly, these kits take me ages to do so. Um, yeah. All right, so as expected with all of my kits, I start off with one rough sketch up here and then after I do this really quick sketch, I move on to like a more refined sketch and then after the refined sketch, I do my final artwork. And so that's why the process takes quite a long time and in between all of these sketches, I also do a lot of um, quote unquote research. I don't really like to use the term research because I don't know, I, I don't really feel like I'm researching anything, but um, I do like search online to find some references for things I don't know how to draw. Like for example, I don't know how to draw a meerkat off the top of my head. So I have to search for photos of meerkats to kind of get a rough idea. So yeah, um, we're gonna just jump right into the rough sketch and something that I kind of do um, out of habit is like whatever um, 
whatever color vibe that I'm going for. I don't really like that word, but um, I tend to do the sketch in a similar color to kind of get the ideas flowing. In drawing programs, there are these layers and this is like the box layer. And I typically do the sketch underneath that um, just because, oh, sorry, above that, just because like if I draw in here, I can, you know, it's like independent of the box. So I can erase and move things around um, just completely up to me. So let's get started. And I, my mind is completely blank of what I want to do. So in those cases, typically I start off with what I exactly know will be happening. And I've mentioned this before, but um, if you notice in 99% of my kits, these two boxes, the second one and the third one, I always make it like a double scenery box. And I will show you what, that, what I mean by that. Um, you can see here like these two boxes, they're like connected by this scenery. Also with the Just Keep Swimming kit, Again, this is connected like a scenery. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do here. So I'm probably gonna do a forest scenery in the center. That makes the most sense to me. And typically when I start my kits, I don't have a very good idea of how it's gonna look, but as I start developing the first one or two boxes, the other boxes just kind of come to me and it's great, it, it goes very quickly. Okay, so that is the ground, and then let's do like a framing tree here, kind of going off the page. Um, maybe like a branch. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I plan on making this like um, a bunch of different trees. Um, I don't want to just stick to one type of tree in this kit. So I was thinking, okay, so this is kind of silly, but <laughs> recently I've been playing Minecraft again, so um, I actually can like take inspiration from some of the Minecraft trees. Oh my goodness. I, I never thought in a million years those words would come out of my mouth. But yeah, um, just like daily things like uh, games that I play or going on nature walks or things like that really bring me inspiration. Um, so in this case, Minecraft is gonna uh, be the source of my inspiration for trees. So I was thinking of making these some birch trees. I also did like a biome washi tape and I think I did birch trees for those. So this should work out pretty well. Um, so two framing trees over here. And then I, I probably wanna put an emoji somewhere here. Maybe just like sitting on the ground. I don't know the expression yet. And then let's do like a little acorn bow of some sort, or like head accessory. I think that'll be really cute. And then maybe over here we can do, I think um, like a hidden pond in the middle of the forest. I think that's such a sweet idea. Well, ponds aren't typically perfectly round, so let's make it kind of wiggly over there. And we'll have grass here, grass here. Maybe I'll do something in the pond, like a, I don't know, a lily of some sort. Okay, we'll just, we'll just get rid of that for now because it kind of looks strange. Some more grass. Okay, and then we definitely want more trees. Or maybe I can make this like a mountain. No, actually, let's do just more trees. So like this. It's actually pretty easy for me to um, record while designing because when I design by myself a lot of the times I talk to myself um, I just find it easier to talk through my process all right so more trees in the back I want the entire back to be like 
filled with trees. Um, and I want it to be like all different types of trees. So, and some of the trees are going to be very muted and light because when things are further away, um, they appear lighter generally, unless there's like light playing some tricks. But yeah, that's a general rule. So, okay, I think that's enough detail. Um, you know what? Actually, okay. I actually don't like this idea at all. Actually, make this a mountain scenery. I'm sorry. Um, I changed my mind a lot. And as I said in the beginning, I'm going to try to be as um, real as possible with my process and not cut out these bits where I'm kind of hesitating. But I do think this looks a lot better. Yeah, lots of open space here, which will be nice. We'll still add some leaves and stuff. Okay, I've been spending way too long on this, so we'll move on. I was thinking of involving like a sloth here. So like maybe a tree branch. By the way, I'm on like my third cup of coffee, so I'm a little bit uh, hyper. <laughs> it's really gloomy today which is unexpected because the past few days in British Columbia has been so, 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 so hot. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of wearing a little too less and I'm kind of getting sniffly. I should probably go put something on, but uh, I'm too lazy. So yeah. So I want this to be like two branches. Um, we might have more branches here, but that's, you know, for me to add later on. And the idea is I want to move this down a little bit because I don't think there's enough space. Okay, so the idea is I want to put like a little sloth here. Um, cute little sloth. That looks kind of creepy, but, but there's that. And then I want to put like a little emoji here as well. And they're both like kind of napping and it'll be super cute. We'll have some more leaves just to accent everything and yeah I think that is another box that I would like to do um, this box not too sure what I do here sometimes I do look at my past kits for inspiration just to see like what I was doing on each of the boxes um, Okay, so I made this on a pattern box and it seems like this box is always like a sticky note box so I think that's what I will do. Um, again, when I'm stuck, I just look at past things and go from there and then sometimes things will come to me, other times not so much. So this will be a sticky note box. Let's do like a little corner here. Hmm. I think I can get very creative with this one, but I don't really know what I can do just yet. I can do some leaves, maybe like a wooden pencil here, like a true wooden pencil. I think that'll be kind of cool. And at this stage, I think I will go to the trusty Google images and I'm going to look for forest animals. I can think of like uh, a deer perhaps, um, maybe some different birds, a bear, and yeah, that's about it. Like, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble thinking of animals and themes uh, surrounding forests. So I guess we can do a fox. The only issue with the fox is that it's um, bright orange and I don't know if it'll match kind of with the feel this kit that I'm going for. So yes, I, I thought of the bear, I thought of the deer. Um, bunny is a good idea, but I think I want to save the bunny for the arctic tundra. Uh, okay, so the reason why I was searching uh, at that moment was because I want to put an animal in this box. Let me actually turn this back into a regular sticky note. I kind of want it to be like ripped at the bottom so it's like a rustic look. 
There we go. And the animal that I will do. So I guess I can do like a squirrel here. So this would be, or like, um, if there's like an, if this branch was a little bit more, whoops, horizontal like this, I can fit like a squirrel here. Um, and then maybe like an acorn somewhere. I don't know. Okay. And then over here, I guess I can, so I want to do a deer here. So I think I'll do like a, um, a bear over here. Cute little bear. I should probably get rid of this. Yeah, I think that'll be really cute. Little bear, maybe some like bear tracks. I don't know what bear tracks look like, but I'm just gonna <laughs> do my best guess. Okay, yeah, I think that's really cute. All right, I think this is like starting to actually come together in some way. So we did the bear, we did the sloth and the squirrel. Um, now, so for this box, I think I want to do like an inside interior box just to kind of provide some nice contrast. Um, so we, let's do an emoji kind of planning or something. And then you can still see a snippet of the forest outside. Like that. Maybe some like fairy lights. And, um, sorry, I'm stumbling all over my words because I'm getting too excited. Like a old lamp of some sort. I <laughs> that's definitely not what a lamp looks like, but um, whatever. And then we can do like a planner here. Um, and a fountain pen because obviously if you're going to be writing in the, whoops, that does not look like a fountain pen. If you're going to be writing in the middle of the forest, you're definitely going to be using a fountain pen. Okay, so now for these last three boxes, I'm honestly pretty stuck on what to do. Here, let's do an emoji just to get started. When in doubt, always just draw an emoji. Sometimes I base the box around the quotation that I pick, and then other times I pick a quotation after I draw the thing, so yeah, it all kind of varies. That looks kind of scary. Okay, so let's have an emoji here. And um, bum, bum, bum. Uh, I avoid doing like lazy boxes where I kind of just slap things on. Um, I want each of them to be very special, so. Hmm. Maybe we can bring in the theme of the lamp again over here. And like a little, okay. I think I have somewhat of an idea it just came to me. So we have an emoji here and then um, a deer over here. Okay. That's definitely not what a deer looks like, but you know, <laughs> and then um, we can do like a little path. Okay, maybe not that far. Like a path over here. This is like the horizon. Um, we'll do like a tree. We'll do more trees. Oh, actually, we need the quote quotation. So let's. Um, Maybe move the, actually, path over here, so it's more balanced. Uh, we can still do a branch here, just to add some framing pieces. That's not a lot of room for the quotation that I want to add, though. Not all who wander are lost. 
Okay, so that's a that's a quotation that I'm gonna go with, I think. Okay, so we did the deer. I think that's a good choice. And this looks very like cluttered right now, but hopefully it'll look a lot better afterwards. I think I want this box to be kind of like a hill or some of some sort. Mm, it doesn't really relate to forests, so I don't really know. We can also make this like a pattern box, so we can do like different trees. Oops. Sorry about that. I'm pretty used to the bright blue, but I know for some people um, it's pretty jarring, so I try to avoid doing that. Okay. This is not a very lovely pattern, but it is just for sketching purposes. Whoops. So maybe that'll be like a forest pattern. And then this last box, um, we can do another outdoor scenery and perhaps we can do like a giant fat tree, like an ancient tree. This kind of reminds me of the magic forest. Uh, kit that I already did, but this is gonna be a totally different vibe. I don't know why I keep saying vibe, but yeah um, We can do like an open hole here and then more trees in the back This one I will make it like with all of the rings and stuff Okay, and then inside the tree do I want to do an emoji? I think the answer is always yes. <laughs> so let's do an emoji here. And maybe like a bird. I think that'll be so cute. Oh my goodness, I love that. Um, I will have to like search for different um, bird varieties and pick one that I like. But that'll be fun. Let's get rid of the messiness. So yeah, I think I'm done with this rough sketch and now I am going to um, do a little bit of quote-unquote research. Again, I don't really like that word for um, the kind of things I'm doing, but I can't think of a better word. And um, we're going to work on the second sketch and then this one's going to take quite a while. And then we're going to do the final thing, which I don't know how much of that I will record because um, it's honestly a lot more boring than the initial brainstorming stages. I'm gonna just change this to all the same color so it looks more cohesive. I plan on posting the process on Instagram so I wanna keep this rough sketch. Uh, I kinda wanna work on this again. I honestly have been putting off doing this kit for so long that I'm kind of behind schedule. So yeah, I really need to uh, make some progress on this at least today. So what I'm going to do now is the better rough draft of the of this uh, previous sketch. Um, there are a few things that, again, I mentioned that I need to quote unquote research. Um, so I will do that as needed. So let's get started. I'm going to actually just start off with the first two boxes, which I drew in the initial sketch. I think it just makes the most sense. So this time I am just going to use black to do the sketch. Um, and this is also when I'm gonna start coloring in the, I guess blocking in the colors. Um, so that when I do the final drawing, I'm not taking as long making decisions. Um, when I do do the final drawing, um, which is like what is printed on the sticker paper, I still do make several changes to my initial plan. Um, but yeah, I try to limit the amount of decisions I have to make as much as possible when I do the final drawing. 
so um, yeah I think this sketch is actually the most important sketch out of all all of the stages so I had a branch there and then I will do a branch here and as you can see here I'm a little bit more intentional with my strokes trying to make sure that things are placed correctly so I can get a better picture of how the final thing is actually going to look um, let's see okay then let's draw in the ground it's still a little messy though but that's okay and then a further meadow sort of thing All right, and then, oh right, I wanted to do the pond, so I don't think this area at the bottom is enough space for a pond, so I'm going to move this up a little bit. I drew this on a separate layer, so that's why I'm able to freely manipulate it on a canvas. All right, and then so I wanted to do the pond somewhere here. And bring it out a little bit more over there. All right, and then we want an emoji somewhere here. Just sitting down and enjoying the peaceful forest. I often make these little stories for myself um, when I draw these emoji sceneries might be crazy I don't know okay that's actually not what I wanted to do I don't know why I kept fixing that there we go so just sitting there um, the perspective is not very good but that's okay and then um, I said I wanted to do like a pine cone Hair accessory so let's do that I think I also drew this hair accessory on the biome uh, washi tape that I already did I am so excited for the entire biome collection to be done with all of the pieces um, I have several items that I have in mind that I also want to do for the series and I cannot wait I think I, I just think it's such a unique concept and I haven't really seen anybody else play with this sort of idea so yeah very excited about it all right so this emoji is just kind of chilling over there and um, to make it kind of quote-unquote realistic we're gonna add a little bit of grass over here And then some uh, not so detailed pieces of grass. I just do little lines. I find that sometimes adding too much detail is not too great. So I kind of want to just give the illusion that it's a grassy area. So this is a lovely pond. Maybe I will do like one of those thingies. I don't know what those are called. Uh, one of those plants in a pond. And then like long grass very long blades of grass. An important detail is that I want these to be like birch, birch trees. I cannot say that properly. So I'm going to draw in some little squiggly lines. I think that's what they look like. It's so lovely because um, I am in my home studio currently and right outside my window it's raining currently and um, there are just these beautiful trees, literally. Um, right in front of me, right outside of my, right outside my window. So, yeah, it all goes so well. Um, and by the way, I finally 
put on a sweater because I was getting so many sneezes and sniffles. All right, so that's done. And then now we're going to start the kind of mid background. So I just want a very few sparing trees, nothing too crazy. Um, I think that's honestly like all I need to do. I think this conveys idea of uh, forests pretty well. Perhaps I can do like another tree over here, just a very thin and faint one. All right, and then let's erase some of this. Oops. Okay. And then the very background is going to be a mountain scenery. And I think this is going to be so beautiful. Okay, I'm not sure like where it cut off, but um, I was contemplating on whether I still wanted to do a squirrel over here. And I think in the end, I will, I will agree to a squirrel. Now the problem is I don't really know what a squirrel looks like, so I am going to search for an image of a squirrel. Okay, their anatomy is kind of interesting. Just search for a plain squirrel over here. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, this is a pretty good reference image. So uh, at this point, I want to do just a few studies of the things that I want to include in my kits just so that they're, you know, somewhat correct. So let's just quickly doodle this squirrel. And then this is their tiny little feet. And then they're the one in the back. Some hair for the stomach. Okay, and then their tails are very fluffy. And sits from the bottom to the top, okay. So I think I got the general gist of what a squirrel is supposed to look like. Um, obviously, I'm not going to make this so realistic when I do my final drawing because that's not really my style for the emoji kits. But this has been helpful. I'm also going to kind of color it a little bit. I'm very sorry if this is boring. Um, again, I just wanted to like ensure that for this video, um, I show you my true process rather than like a very cut down version. Um, and I assume like if you're interested in designing, then you would be interested in the full thing rather than just like snippets. So now I am just turning this into a little uh, cute condensed version uh, rather than like having all of these first strokes and stuff like that. Okay, and then we can have it hold an acorn just to kind of match the acorn hair accessory over there. Okay, cute. I will probably fix this up later on when I do the final thing. And okay, so this is a little too big because I want it to fit in this like little crevice. So I'll scale it down a little bit. Lovely. Okay, let's move on. What is the next one that I want to do? Let's do, oh yeah, so I posted this like sneak peek on Instagram and someone requested that I add a koala, koala bear and I think that would be so cute. So I was planning on doing a sloth, then an emoji, and then um, that's it. But I was thinking instead of doing a sloth and then a koala here and then I'll just sprinkle in some emojis. I think that'll be a lot cuter. So let's do that. So we're going to have a tree here and a tree here and then we want 
this tree to be up here, or I guess this branch, and then this branch to be down here. Okay, so we have two of these branches. Um, and I made the same mistake as last time. I made this a little too far up. So let's move this down and bridge this gap a little bit. That looks decent. I can actually move this down a lot. Since there's nothing gonna be, uh, since there isn't gonna be anything underneath. I just got another text. Okay. I need to turn my notifications off. Okay. Um, so I want to do a koala here. And I think I remember what a koala looks like. So I, I will just go ahead and do a little sketch. Cute. Make sure I'm drawing on the right layer. Okay. I don't remember if koalas have tails. Pretty sure they do. So there's that. And then just some little details. Okay. And then I want a sloth up here. All right, I'm really sorry about that. Um, I got distracted by a series of texts and then I had a phone call and then I had a bunch of work to do. Um, but we are back to designing this kit because once again, I want to make a decent amount of headway today. So earlier the sloth that I drew was kind of whack. <laughs> so I'm just trying to make it look a little, a little cuter. Um, it'll definitely look a lot better in the final version. Right. And then maybe the leg is just sort of like hanging down. Like a true sloth. So we have a little sloth and a little koala. They both look a little deformed, but that's okay. And then, um... I wanted to draw a little emoji as well. So an emoji on the back here. And then an emoji maybe over here. It does look a little unbalanced to me for some reason. And I don't quite know why just yet. I think I might have to like add an extra emoji somewhere just so that it's not um, like two animals and two emojis. Um, if you're wondering what I mean by that, I, again, like I was never prof professionally trained to design stuff. Um, it was just like a uh, drawing and painting was just a hobby that I had when I was a kid. So a lot of the things I say, I'm not sure like if it's actual design principles or um, I'm just like spewing complete bogus. But um, for me, for some reason, it just feels better when I have a, an odd number of things on my full boxes. So that's why I felt like it was kind of uneven. And now that I added this cute little emoji with the butt, I think it looks a lot better. Uh, yeah, like I felt like over here it was missing something, so I like this. And we can add some leaves at the bottom just to add some interest in layers and dimension to this box. So yeah, again, I posted this on Instagram and I didn't check my DMs for quite a few hours. Um, but I checked it earlier and oh my goodness, everyone is so excited about this and um, it just made me even more excited to work on it, um, knowing that a lot of you are looking forward to it. So yay for that. Um, over 
here, maybe some different types of leaves and plants. And if you're curious, um, the sketching and so the first sketching and the second sketching time, as well as the final artwork, that actually doesn't take too long relative to the entire process. The actual thing that takes the longest time is actually when I format the kit into the regular kit, the Hobonichi Cousin, as well as the Hobonichi Weeks. So yeah, um, this happens to just be my favorite part. All right, so the next box that I want to do is this cute little sticky note box with a bear. So yeah, I think um, because I did a sticky note box for the other two in the series, I'll just continue this into the fourth Arctic Tundra um, kit as well, just to keep some sort of consistency. All right. And I wanted a bear over here and a wooden pencil. So let's lower the opacity and draw this cute bear. Maybe I'll make the head... How, how do I want to do this? Yeah, I think I'll make this like a chubby bear. I think that'll be cute. So you might notice that with a lot of the things that I'm drawing, it kind of gets cut off on one side of the page. For example, this bear. Um, but when I do the actual final artwork, I draw each of the elements separately and um, I draw the full bear like outside of the box. <laughs> Not like that though. Um, but yeah, I draw the full thing. And that is because I recently started doing the um, large doodle stickers and things where it's like cut off, that's no good. So yeah, um, it's taking a lot longer for me these days to make the kits for that reason, but it's definitely worth it. Okay, I feel like this bear is looking really weird. Why is that? Just complete redo. Let's try that again. Yeah, I think I like the nose a little bit further down. Very small. Some cheeks and then little furs everywhere. Okay. It currently doesn't really look like a bear, but I'm hoping it'll look a lot better after I color it in. So we have a bear there, and I think this is a little too big. Um, I want this box to be somewhat functional so you can still write on it. So I'll make that smaller. And then now the wooden pencil. I want this to be very long and skinny and like the tip to be kind of like hand sharpened with a knife. And again, this pencil is going to be cut off in the final thing, I think. Um, but when I draw, it's going to be fully a uh, full pencil just so that I can do other stuff with it later on as clip art. Okay, so I'm going to try to draw the bear tracks a little bigger so I can scale it down because my earlier attempt was not really good. Okay, that still looks a little strange. I don't know why I can't draw bear tracks properly. Um, and again, I know like this is just the sketching stage, so I, don't, I shouldn't really be spending so much time on this, but I find that um, it makes my final artwork stage a lot faster if I kind of figure things out now. That still looks very weird. Um, I'm not too sure why. Okay, I think it's because I'm drying the nails too long. So we will scale this down. Um, I put another one down here. Okay. 
All right, and then let's make this a little straighter as well. Oops, let's turn this around a little bit, or rotate it rather. Perfect, okay, and then, and then let's draw some leaves once again, just to add some interest to the spread, or the sticker, so it's not so plain. Nice, I really do like this. Okay, so I'm getting kind of tired of working on this again, so I will take a little break and I will be right back. Hello again. It is the next day, but it is two in the morning. Um, I, I, I know it's not the healthiest to be staying up so late, um, but I don't know. I think it's something about just the peaceful night and just really me being the only one awake in our house. Um, it makes me feel a lot more creative and less rushed, if that makes any sense. Even though like um, my family is awesome and they don't really bother me when they know that I'm working hard, but um, yeah, I don't know. I think a lot of night owls can relate to this just peaceful feeling. So anyways, I'm going to stop talking about that and I'm going to continue with designing. Um, here I'm currently doing the pattern box on the better sketch, the, the, what am I talking about? The more refined rough sketch. The thing about uh, doing this in the middle of the night though, is that I also kind of lose some of my cognitive abilities and uh, I tend to stumble on my words a little bit. So do bear with me. Perhaps that's a sign that I should stop doing that though. Right, so we have this tree, and then let's do kind of like an evergreen tree. I really do wonder how many people are going to actually watch this entire thing. Um, so perhaps, I don't know, if you're doing homework or working on some repetitive task that's mindless, maybe this will be a good background thing to play, but I don't know. Otherwise, I don't know who would be interested in this. <laughs> um, but if you're interested in more, definitely do let me know. Okay. And then I want to do a birch tree. Something that I always try to do is if I use some sort of element in one full box, I try to bring it into my other full boxes just to make it look more cohesive. So the birch tree, and then I think I added a very tiny tree to the side of that one. So let's do that as well. Just to kind of change things up a little bit. Cute. All right. Oops. So now let's actually make this pattern. So I'm just going to repeat this once. We only need it for one row. Um, but when I actually, again, do the final illustration, I'm going to make like a full pattern because I'll probably use this for other purposes as well. Actually, I can just select it so that it's perfect. Cute little emoji. Okay. So then I said I wanted to do a window over here. Probably in, um, I might end up having to move this over to the left a little bit. For now, we will just leave this as is. And then we want the emoji to be working, oh my gosh, I can't draw, working in their planner. Or like some sort of journaling. Okay. So let's add planner over here. We'll make this a very chunky book, planner book. 
maybe like some tabs protruding. Um, I can do like little flags, kind of like fake entries, maybe like a to-do list. I don't know. We'll deal with this when we do the final illustration. Um, and then we'll have a fountain pen off to the side. Okay, this looks like a terrible fountain pen. Probably need just a slightly smaller brush. You can see that I'm using the same brush for all of my sketches. Um, I don't, this is like a very simple brush. I don't really bother doing anything special about that. Okay. And then I think we have space for, whoops, space for a little ink bottle as well. I think that'll be cute. Or maybe we can do a stack of washi. No, let's do an ink bottle. I think that'll be more fitting. So I'm kind of uh, replicating the diamine ink bottle style. And we can write ink over here, just so we're clear. Okay, I think that's pretty cute. And then I said I would do some fairy lights, maybe overlapping the window a little bit. And then the outside is going to be like uh, another forest scenery. Just to get a snippet of the theme in there. All right, what is next? We are almost done with this sketch. We have two more left to go. I think I will start with the quotation box. Um, oh right, I wanted to include a lamp here. Okay, so I completely forgot that I was supposed to do a little lamp, um, but I'm honestly pretty happy with the fountain pen and ink bottle idea, so I think I will only do the lamp for this full box. There's that, and let's move the emoji down a little bit, and I'll probably make it a little smaller, just because I want to make room for the adorable deer that's going to be right next to it. All right, and then let's draw the lamp very roughly. There's a light bulb here and kind of like a little frame of sorts. Perfect. And I want the lamp to be a little smaller might end up going off the page a little bit. Not sure how I feel about that though. So we have the emoji and then I'm actually going to keep this because I want to do a few art studies later on just like I did with the squirrel. Um, so I can see how I actually want to draw it for the final thing. Okay and then let's do the deer. Typically for the deer and other animals, I would do a little study as well, but I think I'll do that off camera because <laughs> even though I said I would make this a bit longer, I also don't want it to be too excessive. So I want to make the thing somewhat relevant. Okay, well. That looks a little strange. Hopefully when I do the actual thing, it'll look a lot better. So maybe I will make the deer smiling as well. So blush. And then we want the antlers. And then probably little spots everywhere. And then let's draw the trees. Oh, and then I 
said I wanted to do a little road going into the horizon, but I don't even know if I have space here because I kind of drew the deer pretty big, but we can still try and see how that looks. I actually still kind of like it, so maybe I'll keep that in the final thing. Probably have to make this a bit smaller. Okay, and maybe we can do little sparkles here and there. That'll be cute. All right, that's another full box done. And then we just have one more to go, yay. And this one should be fairly simple. And I want this one to be very, very simple. Um, instead of doing like another background scenery, I'm just gonna make it a solid color. Uh, just because again, as I said, it's not always good to have super uh, fine details in every single full box. Uh, it just ends up looking very cluttered and the final spread consequently looks cluttered as well. So I'm only going to do just like a centerpiece and then the background is going to be plain. I promise it's not because I'm being lazy, but uh, it's just a little choice that I'm making. And then we said we would put a little bird over here. And I still have to kind of look into what sort of bird I want to do. So we will just draw a very generic bird for now. Wonderful. And I'm not going to do anything here. We're going to keep this an open space um, just for kind of balance reasons. I might like add some leaves here or something, just like very tiny accents, but nothing too crazy. I think we are done with the sketch. Let me just save it very important. And now we're going to do the coloring part. Okay, so now comes the fun part, which is coloring or color blocking rather. Um, I'm going to duplicate this just so we keep a copy of the layer. And I'm going to start off by just filling in the background color. And this is my color palette. So I have five colors here, but I have, uh, I typically do four main colors with all of my kits and I'm probably just going to do the first four of these. So let's fill that in. Um, some of these colors currently do not make any sense, but we will uh, work with that. All right. So this is what we're currently working with. And let's just start with some things that we know are going to be a certain color. So for example, the birch trees, the emotes are going to always be white. Um, and this is also a pretty quick process. Uh, I'm very rough in this stage with my color choices and stuff like that. Anything else? This should be white. And we have three emojis over here that should be white. Did I miss anything? I hope not. Okay, let's just go ahead and color this in. Okay, some decision making to do. Um, I think it'll be easiest to start here. I'm just going to start coloring in some of the trees. Okay, so we have this darker color and we have this like medium green color. Um, I think I can make, oops, I missed this one. I think I want the evergreen tree to be this dark green and then 
this green or this tree can be a more yellow leaning tree. And also the trunks need to be colored in. So for the trunks, I will do a darker brown. Okay, I'll just color all of this in. And then for this companion tree, I will make this like a more minty blue tone green, just for some nice contrast. So I think I want the bear to be, okay, wait, sorry, pencil, I will make it a dark brown. And I will also bring in the tree trunk color. For the bear, we'll keep it as this brown. I think that's fine. Um, but for the background, instead of also it being brown, we'll, we will make it a lighter color maybe. Oops. Again, for some nice contrast. For the parchment paper, let's make it a lighter brown. And then there's this washi tape, which we can make it like a dark green and just lower the opacity to give the illusion of it being a washi tape. Let's fill in the leaves so they're not all brown. Okay, what's next? Um, as you can see, I'm doing this very quickly. I don't want to think too much about it. Uh, let's do the pond. So the pond will be kind of like a blue, but it'll still be kind of green leaning. Um, and then for the sky, we're not going to have some green skies. So let's fix that up. So since this is a scenery, I want to make it more cohesive. Um, so this is going to be the same color across. We can also do little clouds. And then for the mountains, um, we will do a mix of different greens. We will do kind of like a grayish brown. Typically, when you think of mountains, you might think of green, but um, in reality, they're likely not green. They're probably like a grayish color when you squint or something. Okay, and then we want the top to be kind of icy, more blue toned. Okay, and then I will add little details when I do the actual designing part, but we can just add a few things in here so I don't forget. The grass is definitely going to be green. Um, we'll make this a darker green in the front and then a lighter green in the back. A lot of this I will end up changing when I actually do the final artwork, but this just gives me a really good idea of where to start. We have these trees um, and this is going to be very dark so it provides a nice contrast. Another light brown of sorts. We have some cheeks of course and darker antlers. Wonderful. And then for the background, um, let's see, I think I'll keep the sky, this minty blue color, but I will adjust the ground a little bit. Then moving on to this box, the koala is going to be kind of gray. All of these animals I picked, um, they match the color scheme pretty well, so that's good. We have this adorable little sloth. It's just an amazing feeling to see everything come together. Okay, slightly darker brown. 
and then um, the trees shouldn't be green so let's fix that up so since the sloth is already brown we want it to be a different kind of brown and i'll probably make this a bit darker um but for this one i will make it lighter since the koala is not the same shade i think i want the frame to be this darker brown just to tie it in a little bit more And then there's this mini scenery in here, which I will roughly block in. So, um, I don't know. Is there anything that I want to change at this moment? I honestly don't think so. I'm looking at it from very far right now and I quite like it. So yeah i think that is it for my drafting process i am pretty darn happy with it let me just sort out my layers a little bit more i will end off the video here so yeah um thank you so much for watching and let me know if you want to see more of them um yeah i will see you next time bye